This is the story of the Bernina Company, a company that has been shaping the future of the sewing machine industry for 125 years, and whose name is synonymous with Swiss precision, quality, and innovation. The 19th century, the Baden Revolution, southern Germany was in turmoil. In search for a place to work in peace, Karl Friedrich Gegauf, son of a radical liberal German country doctor, settled in Switzerland. It was here where he invented the world's first hem stitching machine in 1893, setting the standard for the future of sewing machines. It wasn't until 1932, though, that the Bernina name first came into being. With the world in the grip of the Great Depression, Karl Gegauf's son, Fritz, was now running the company, changed its name, and brought in the first of a new line called Bernina, named after a famous Swiss mountain. The very first domestic model was the Bernina 105. Fritz's business philosophy was to produce quality machines within everyone's reach. The 1940s saw the world at war. There were shortages on food and fabric, and fashion changed to reflect that. Khaki was now the new black. Innovation at Bernina didn't stop, and 1943 saw the introduction of the first zigzag stitch free arm sewing machine in the world the Bernina 125. The 1950s. Peace was declared everywhere. The consumer was king. Cars had fins, heads had lacquered brill cream hair, skirts had flounces, and rock and roll was born. While greasers and bikers were prevalent, Bernina continued to make the world a better place by introducing the 530 model with a range of new stitches and a buttonholer. The swinging 60s. Hip fashion, Carnaby Street, long hair, mini skirts. Young people were taking over. In 1963, Bernina introduced the 730 with more features to inspire home sewists. And inspired they were. In that same year, the one millionth Bernina sewing machine rolled off the assembly line. Flower power was on the rise. It was the age of Aquarius, hippies, and psychedelics. Fabrics were brighter and jeans were wider than ever before. Bernina has always been a family company. And from 1970, Fritz Gegauf entrusted his daughter, Odette Uelchi Gegauf, with the leadership of the company. In the 70s, we all went disco. Saturday Night Fever, body shirts, and afros. The Bernina 830 came onto the market and stayed and stayed and stayed. It is the top seller of all Bernina machines, and most 830s are still working today, much to the annoyance of Bernina dealers worldwide. The 80s. Corporate yuppies were big, and the hair was even bigger, though not as big as the shoulder pads. Computers were getting smaller and faster and started to get into the hands of everyone. Bernina was ahead of the game and took sewing in a completely new direction with Bernina's first fully automatic machine, the all-electronic Bernina 1130. Cams were out, PC boards were in. In 1988, Hans-Peter Uelchi, great-grandson of Karl Friedrich Gegauf, took over the Bernina reigns, continuing the family tradition. The 90s, the end of the yuppies, the Berlin Wall, and the dawn of the internet age. Bernina opened an additional production site in Lampoon, Thailand, to boost production capacities. The world was changing rapidly and PCs were everywhere. Once again, Bernina led the market. With the launch of the Artista 180 in 1998, the sewing machine had become a sewing computer. While it couldn't store recipes or help write a shopping list, the Artista brought in a new era. December 1999, the eve of the new millennium, the world was geared up for chaos caused by a software bug. Instead, the 2000s brought trucker hats, skinny jeans, and Harry Potter. MySpace was in, and Bernina once again became the talking point of sewists all over the world. In 2008, after six years of development, the Bernina 830 was launched. With a sewing and embroidery speed of over 1,000 stitches per minute, a free arm length of 30 centimeters or 12 inches, and 15 new and patented features, the 830 left all previous machines in the dust. As of 2010, vintage clothing, DIY, and sustainability are on the up. Razor stocks are on the decline. 
Hipsters live in gentrified neighborhoods but don't self-identify as hipsters. Eclecticism, hedonism, veganism, postmodernism. Things get a little complicated. Bernina maintains an overview and proves to be more than a stitch length ahead of the competition. The Bernina 790 with the new Bernina hook allows sewists around the globe to fulfill their creative endeavors whatever their role or personal style. Pet dogs, clothing sizes, computers, airplane seats, and cars keep getting smaller. At least some cars. Yet Bernina machines are bigger than ever before. With a 24-inch throat space, the Bernina Q24 long arm quilting machine provides ample space for even the largest quilts. The future of sewing is already here. Bernina continues to innovate, continues to produce machines that let your imagination soar, and continues to build them with Swiss precision, quality, reliability, and support that millions of happy customers all over the world have come to expect. The fifth generation of the family is getting ready to contribute to the Bernina story with traditional family values that go back 125 years. 125 years celebrating your creativity. Bernina, made to create. 2043. Former U.S. President Elon Musk wins season 50 of Dancing with the Stars. Bernina releases its first mind-controlled sewing machine, the B7000MC. 2118. Keith Richards becomes the first ever human to celebrate a 175th birthday. Bernina releases the first ever sentient sewing machine. The B9000X, capable of reaching 50,000 stitches per minute while reciting Shakespeare. The future is promising.